Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to look at a little trick today that can help you keep your SketchUp files lighter. This is a model of a house I did. It's, it's already kind of a heavy house. It's got all the framing and a whole lot of detail in it already. And all I want to do is I just want to put a little fence in the front yard. Um, and I want to do it as light as possible. Now if I was to come in here and model all the posts and the rails and the vertical members, it would end up adding a lot of geometry, especially if I ended up getting you know detailed or fancy at all. So one of the things I can do is I can take advantage of transparencies and images to make things like fences. So I'm going to just come in here and I'm going to create a line. Um, I'm just kind of arbitrarily drawing my length at this point, but I'm just going to create a rectangle right here. And uh, you know I'll come straight across the driveway and I will draw a second rectangle right here. And that's going to go about out now say there ish all right so that's where I want my my fence to be I want it to, to sit right there so now again rather than going in and drawing all the geometry in there I'm gonna start by maybe picking a stock uh, material here in my uh, paint bucket in my colors window and I'm gonna paint it on there now if I come in here and look at what this is you can see there's actually transparencies in here so I have the fence but I also have transparencies. SketchUp will honor transparencies that come in with materials. So you can actually do this manual too. We'll look at that in a second. So right now though, I can look at this and I can see that it looks like a fence and it actually is one surface. So if I look at the entity info here, I can see that all of that, all that what looks like geometry is coming in as a single face. So it's a big uh, saver as far as model size. Obviously, this isn't going to be perfect. I got this weird stacked thing going on right now. Um, easy enough to fix. I can actually just take this line and use move, move it down vertically past that, that point right there. And there we go. I got a pretty good fence at that point. Um, if I wanted to clean that up a little bit further, I could actually turn on erase and hold down the shift key to hide my boundary lines. And when I do that, now I have a real nice looking fence. Um, it might not be perfect at this point. This kind of ends in the middle of a rail. So I might want to actually come in here, right click, texture, position. And we've done this in other videos. And I'll just slide it over till that, that post shows up. That looks all right. Oops, I, I moved it down a little bit. Texture, position, and I'll slide that back up. All right, so that doesn't look bad at all. Um, I can do this with, oh, I could actually take that if I wanted to then. I could sample this and just fill it right in here. And then again, I'd have to move this top line down. There we go. And again, I could erase with shift to get rid of the lines pretty easy way to throw in a fence. Um, I did that with a stock material. If you go into this landscaping, fencing, and vegetation, there's actually a whole bunch of these uh, that have transparencies in them. So a couple different kinds of fences, um, some like netting, and uh, different types of fences, chain link fence, and even barbed wire. You can actually just string that across a solid surface and save yourself some geometry rather than trying to model barbed wire or something like that. I can do this with uh, images too. So if I was to, I'm going to prepare uh, a little rectangle here for a gate. So again, I'm not just kind of arbitrarily throwing a rectangle here in uh, 3D space. I'm not real concerned with the size because I'll resize based on the image. File, import. I want to make sure all supported image types is activated as well as use a texture. If that's set up, all I have to do is pick the PNG file I want. And it is important that you save the file in PNG. PNG will save that transparency while other formats will possibly bring that in as white. So I do want to put that in as a PNG, save it as a PNG. And then I'm just going to kind of arbitrarily click and drag it out because I'm going to edit a little bit. But you can see, because I saved this as a PNG and saved uh, set transparency, it pulled it in where the, uh, the white portion is clear. So at this point, it's just a matter of right-clicking, texture, positioning. I'll put that down where I want it, to, like that. And then maybe I'll stretch this out a little bit. 
stretch it out this direction. And uh, if I want to, I could stretch it up, make it a little bit longer vertically. Um, but at this point, it's just you're just organizing or uh, stretching an image. The important part is that there we go. Like I did on the on the main part of the fence, let's move that line down a little bit. And then again, I'm going to use Shift Erase to just hide the four lines that make that edge and I have a gate. Again, consisting of just a single face is all that is. So it's a great way to, uh, real quick and easy, get some extra geometry into your model and save file size. So there you go. Uh, something to consider next time you have a model that's getting big and heavy is using images with transparencies rather than modeling out complex geometry. Thank you.